Hey everybody, Ricky the Handicapping, Thoroughbred Racing from one of my hometown tracks, Parks Racing, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania on Sunday afternoon, June the 26th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 8 this afternoon, folks, 3.22 p.m. Eastern Post Time, mile test on the dirt track, 3 year olds and up race for a claiming purse of $48,000. Contenders number two, High on Candy, number three, Sloan Ranger, number five, Carvello, and number four, Crack the Opus. Number two, High on Candy, has hit the board in each of his last three, including back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two adventures. Number three, Sloan Ranger, has hit the board in five straight with three of those efforts, including a winner in his fifth race back, also qualifying as power runs. Race 8 summary, number 2, High on Candy, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 3, Sloan Ranger, number 5, Carvello, and number 4, Crack the Opus, 2, 3, 5, 4 in the 8th from Parks Racing. I still call it Philly Park. Bonus long shots, Woodbine, race 5, here in the $200,000 Grade 2 Highlander Stakes, number 1, Silver Timber. Takes a class drop of seven units, the overall speed leader in this field, sprinting at six furlongs on the turf. Canterbury Park, race six, number six. Jody's included five to one in the morning line, qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony. Has hit the board in three of her last five, winning in her second race back. So from, okay, Parks Racing on a Sunday. Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always, to go to Philly Park and bet with your head, not over it.